hello everyone welcome to another tutorial today we'll be installing only office docs community edition on an ubuntu operating system before we start i want to make sure you guys understand that you need uh, at least 4 gigabytes of ram and 40 gigabytes of free hard disk space if not the steps we're going to be following today is not going to work for you so what i recommend is if you're using a virtual machine or a vps originally start by creating it or setting it up for four gigabytes um, and 40 um, gigabytes of free hard disk space and once the installation is complete then you can reduce the ram to one or two gigabytes but if you don't have four gigabytes of ram and 40 gigabytes of hard disk space the installation is not going to go through so now that we have that out of the way we're going to go ahead and head straight to the installation steps. The first thing we want to do here is obviously get our freshly or clean install um, Ubuntu server accessed using the command line. Once you do that, um, now we're going to go ahead and start following through the commands. In order for us to install um, only office docs we're going to use an only office doc script that is provided to us by only office uh, the first thing you need to do is use the we get command to download the only office docs script once you have that complete what you want to do is run this next command as uh, sudo so we want to use sudo to be able to install the um, only office using the script. So once we run the script, you can see it asks us if we want to install only office using Docker, which is recommended, or we can install using the regular RPM or dev packages. For this video, we're not gonna use Docker. We're just gonna go ahead and use the regular uh, dev packages since we're using um, Ubuntu uh, operating system so i'm gonna select the no and now you just have to sit back and relax and let the script do the installation for you if you get any errors that's mostly going to be because either you didn't have the 40 gigabytes of hard disk space or you didn't get the four gigabytes of ram if you have that squared away this script should complete and I'm going to pause the video here because it might take some time. And when it's done, we're going to go ahead to the next steps. Now that the installation is complete, I'm going to clear the command line real quick. And the next thing we want to do at this point is actually test that our only um, office docs installation was successfully um, completed so uh, that's not correct okay do that we're gonna go into the browser and i'm gonna type in the ip address of that virtual machine as you can see when we try to access that um Ubuntu virtual machine now on our browser uh, the installation has successfully completed and we are presented with a welcome page for only office at this stage only office is working just fine um, but we need to make some more setups so we want to uh, set up HTTPS instead of HTTP because if you notice right now we cannot run HTTPS with our only office so we're going to turn up HTTPS. In this case, you can use a self-signed certificate or whatever you want, but we're going to use a Let's Encrypt certificate because Let's Encrypt is free. Um, for this part, there's two things you need to understand. First, we need to add a DNS A record in our DNS manager, which um, if you've been following my videos, I use Cloudflare. Um, if you use something else, that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to have to run a script uh, using setbot to get uh, the certificate that we need for this. So before we start with all that, I'm going to say we should start by installing setbot. 
So I'll run the command sudo snap install classic setbot. If you already have setbot, then that's fine. If not, just run the commands and that's going to install. And so once that completes, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a symbolic link for um, setbot between snap and our um, user slash bean directory. So I'm just going to pause the video here once the setbot installation is complete. Then we're going to go ahead and in, uh, do our symbolic link. So now that that installation is complete, um, what we can do is uh, run the next command, like I said, to create our symbolic link. And now that we've created our symbolic link, um, we need to request um, use setbot to request and set up HTTPS. Um, only Office has an easy script for you to be for for you to run this script to get a let encrypt certificate. But this will require for you to have a virtual machine or a server that has an external IP address. I'm running this on a virtual machine on my MacBook, so I do not have an external IP address. But there's a workaround that we can do to use that script. In order for us to be able to use that script, the first thing we need to do in this case is do a manual DNS verification to be able to get a certificate with setbot. So we're going to ignore um, the script that only office provides for us, but we're just going to request a regular certificate using the manual DNS challenge method. So in order for us to do this, we need to run this command. So we're going to do sudo setbot-d and you want to replace the docs.geektogether.com with your host name or your A record that you've set up for your only office server. So I'm going to go back to Chrome before I run that command. Um, as you can see here in uh, Cloudflare, I have um, the docs A record added and also in the future, if you plan on connecting only Office to Nextcloud, you want to make sure you turn the proxy um, option for um, Cloudflare off. If not, Nextcloud and only Office docs are not going to be able to talk to each other. Uh, so I'm just going to go back since we already have our A record and now I'm going to run this command. So it wants my email address. I'm going to put that in there. And once you're done putting your email address, you're going to follow through and accept all of that. And now we are presented with a DNS TXT record for us to add in our DNS management. So let's encrypt and make sure that we own this domain. Uh, so I'm going to go add a new record, change that to TXT. And I'm going to put in um, the name and then we go back to the command line. We'll copy the value. And then we go back and we paste it. And once you do that, all you want to do is hit the save option. So once you have that saved, um, we're going to go back to the command line. Uh, don't forget to give it a couple of seconds. And when you do that, you're just going to press enter to continue. And as you can see, our certificate was successfully installed. Um, now we have our certificate on our server. What we can do now in this case is we can go ahead and run that script that only Office Doc provide for us to be able to get a free TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt. So now when we paste this, what is going to happen is instead of this script to go ahead and try to verify our domain uh, to issue us a TLS certificate, we already have a TLS certificate from Less Than Crit. So what it's going to do is take the existing certificate that we have and set it up for um, your only office document server. So once again, the only thing you need to change here is the email and uh, the host name or the A record or the domain name of your only office server. Once you do that, you press enter. Now you're going to get a successful message. You don't get any errors, so that's fine. Great. 
so we go back to um, the browser here and uh, if we try to access this over HTTPS we can now see that we have an error that says certificate not valid but the certificate is valid the reason we have the error is because I'm accessing with an IP instead of the host name so we can check that certificate and we can see we have a let's encrypt certificate so now your your only office document server is complete it is ready for you to go ahead and set it up with Nextcloud or with uh, any other um, application that you want to use it with in this case for Nextcloud if you're planning to use this to set it up for Nextcloud or some other type of open source software out there uh, the settings if we go to the etc only office you see the only office directory and then we cd to document server in here you will find the local.json file so if you open this local.json file this is where you find your authorization jwt and your um, string that you can use to connect this with um, nextcloud or something else so like if you've watched my nextcloud video we had to use this and this string to be able to connect nextcloud with only office docs um, in the older versions of only office docs you had to set this up on your own but with the newer versions right now they come automatically set up if you didn't like this string and you wanted to change it you can remove them and change them with something else but this look pretty secure and long to me so you can leave it as default and go ahead and configure your next cloud server with only office so if i go now just to make sure and i try to access um, the docs.gigtogether.com using the um, host name if i do that now you can see we are indeed able to access that virtual machine with a valid SSL certificate. And to even do some further testing to make sure that this actually works, we can go to my uh, test next cloud server here. And I'm going to log in as administrator. And once I log in, we're going to go ahead and test to make sure that our newly created only office document server works. So we're going to go to applications and the first thing we want to do is find a way to um, or find the app on the office and download that. Once we have that, we can download and enable that application. Once we're complete, we're going to go back to administration settings and on the left side we want to select only office once we select only office we can see that we are presented with the option to put in the server name and the secret so we're going to do that on our next cloud instance uh, config the php file so now i'm logged into my next cloud server and i'm going to go into the config the php file and uh, somewhere in here So I'm just going to come here and I will paste um, the configuration we need for only office. So I'm going to paste that in there. We're going to create an array with only office. And then we have to enter the JWT header, which in this case, I have it set for authorization the JWT like it's supposed to be in here and um then the um jw2 jwt secret we're going to paste that from here so i'm going to copy this go back here and i'll paste that in there and once i paste that i'm going to save that settings go back to the web ui for next cloud refresh it and once that's refreshed, we're just going to go in and put in our um, host name for our document server. So docs.gigtogether.com. 
And if you're using, if you created a self-signed certificate in your case, you want to make sure you disable certificate verification. Okay. Um, but since we use the, uh, a let's encrypt certificate, it doesn't really matter. I can still use the disable certificate verification. Um, next cloud is just not going to verify the certificates that your document server is presenting since it's using HTTPS. Select save. And once we do that, we can see we get a successful um, connection to uh, our only office documentation server. And if we go back to files and uh, we try to create a new file, we can now create a new document. Oops, reload. We can now create a new document to be able to collaborate and make changes to our document file. So I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you have any specific questions about installing uh, only Office document server, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.